Satan. Perfect for a demon girl. Wow. Ooh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. I am Raquel, also known as the Garbage Queen. Actually, I hope I'm not known as that because that's kind of a sad nickname. But I love making art out of garbage. I hate wasting things and polluting our planet. When a friend of mine showed me this broken bike rack, I immediately saw opportunity. That's why it's broken. So we are seizing that opportunity to make giant demon wings because it is a spooky month and I need a spooky outfit. I've never had a really, really epic Halloween costume and now is my chance. So I am going to use this bike rack as a base. I kind of have this idea in my head to make these giant bat wings, like demon bat wings. And I think the best way to make the skeletal structure of these little wing winglets is to get some like thin PVC pipe. So I'm gonna leave the house, leave the workshop um, as much as I don't want to enter the world. <laughs> and we're gonna buy some PVC pipe and some sort of fabric to make the, the membrane of the wings. Yeah, I'm not really sure what exactly I need. And quite honestly, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna make the structural integrity of these wings anything decent because to be honest, my partner, Nick Taylor Woodworking, who helps me with so much logistical stuff in all of my dumb projects, he's out of town working on a giant historical boat. So Nick Taylor Woodworking is currently with Samson Boat Co, which is awesome and check out their channels. But I am lacking help. Help me. <laughs> so we're just gonna we're just gonna grip it and rip it, as they say. Nobody says that, Raquel. And we are gonna buy supplies and we are just gonna move quickly because spooky season is upon us and spooky season waits for no woman. Let's go. Let's get let's get to being a demon bat girl. I don't know what the costume is yet. This feels like stuff I don't know how to use or work with, but it's fine. It's tomorrow Raquel's problem. Okay, on to stop number two, the fabric store. Um, I don't really love buying new fabric, but um, I'm not really sure what I need. So thrifting doesn't really seem like an option, unfortunately. So we're gonna try to be budget conscious the best we can, and Raquel's gonna try to not get too carried away and when I see something that might be perfect. All right, all right, wish me luck. I feel so overwhelmed. I feel like I don't belong here. I'm really not sure what type of fabric I need and I find that overwhelming, but I did find this. So I got all the supplies I needed. I feel as prepared as I can <laughs> and I am nervous about the structural integrity again. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing in that department. What are you doing? Art department, good. Engineering department, bad. But we're just gonna follow uh, um, uh, the plan on my shirt here. Craft now, think later, and see what we can come up with. I'm gonna lay out the pieces of pipe. <laughs> no, no, no. And kind of get it to look like a hand. You know, bat wings are kind of just like stretched out hands. Another little bonus thing I would like to do with these wings is make it so they can come apart so they'd be easier to take apart and store and not just have to hang from my ceiling or something. All right, so I'm excited. I have a lot I wanna get done today and spirits are currently high. Yeah, I'm hopeful that this will end up being like the best Halloween costume I've ever had. So we'll see, I, you know, high hopes, maybe too high expectations. Let's get to work. Okay, so this is gonna be the basic layout here, minus the dog situation. So step one, I think, is gonna be cutting these big pieces and then kind of working out how they fit in the bike rack. What do you think? You think that's where we should start? You think that's a plan? Okay, I'm a little bit nervous about cutting these, but we're gonna believe in ourselves. I hope I'm strong enough. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I might not be strong enough. I don't know what to do. If I'm not strong enough, what do I do? Who do I know who's stronger and can help me? Not this guy. Get out of here, Janky. I'm outside. I should keep these closed so I don't chop myself in half. I'm gonna put this little cloth to try to not totally destroy this tool as I grind it into the ground. And I'm just gonna try to get some additional leverage. There we go, it's happening! <laughs> Huzzah! Okay, so what I'm thinking in the, you know, in the name of engineering. 
as we've discussed, is I think they shouldn't all be on one side of the wing. Let's mark off where these are gonna go. That actually looks pretty good. And I will copy the same thing on the other side. I can't stand up in my house with these on because they're too big. They're on there. All right, I gotta, I gotta take these off. <laughs> As you can see, they're not attached much better than the individual little wing spikes, wing fingers, whatever we're calling those. But I feel good about it. They're pretty stable, um, at least as stable as my mental health, if not much better, hopefully much better. I am a bipolar person, but I definitely feel they are stable enough to hang the fabric off of. And um, I did end up fusing the wings, so they're not gonna be able to be taken apart. But I made an executive decision that it was more important for them not to fall apart for Halloween, for wearing them, for this video, for this project, for all demon kind. Um, so that's the decision we made. I'm sure if I need to take them apart at some point, I'll, I'll work it out. Future Raquel's problem. I am now really excited to get to putting the fabric on. I think the fabric and the painting is really where I'm gonna start having fun because painting is what I'm good at. Um, the fabric part is not necessarily what I'm good at and I should have bought fabric glue, but I didn't. So we're gonna use more hot glue. You're welcome. Welcome to a video about hot glue. I'm thinking that those little bat fingers, I need to think of what they're called. Bat fingers? Okay, they're bat fingers now, officially. We're sticking to bat fingers. They're gonna be in the pleather, and then the main fabric of the wings will be this awesome, like, textured stuff. Uh, I do have some additional, just kind of flat black fabric, but I kind of want to try not to use it so I could potentially return it because I'm a peasant. But we'll see if I need it. Yeah, at the end of the day, the wings being good is what's more important because we have already invested uh, so many, so many tears, so much blood, and uh, not much sweat because I'm probably dehydrated. Yeah. Okay, so surprisingly, I'm gonna do something else smart here. I'm going to use some paper to kind of make the shape I want to go from here to here, so it can be a more seamless piece of fabric. So that's the plan. I am clever that I thought of that. Go me. And I am going to get all the fabric on today. Challenge accepted. You might not believe it, but I think we might finish today. Every time I say that, I'm cursed, but we'll see what happens. Okay, but something not smart that I'm gonna do that you all are gonna hate is I'm gonna use a lot more hot glue because I didn't buy a fabric glue. That would have been ideal. But hot glue is my friend. We're very good friends. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Two uh, really important updates from the last two seconds ago when I saw you. Um, one, I spilled so much coffee. So much coffee. Really sad about that. And uh, my glue gun isn't working. I'm going to try to take it apart because I think it's just mega, mega clogged. Mm, but giving myself a limited amount of time to try to fix it because I need to finish Today, actually, I need to finish today because I have someone helping me with the finished look, finished wings photo sh shoot tomorrow. So I'm gonna give myself maybe like an hour. We'll see if I can take this glue gun apart, get it to work. If not, we'll go spend some more money, drop some dollars, 
unfortunately. Unfortunately, spend some more money and get a new one. But I'm really hopeful that maybe it's just like clogged up and we can fix it. So I'm grumpy. I forget you. Ooh, look at this. The glue gun beat me, you guys. But we got a new one, right, bub? So we're back on track, I think, or we're trying to be on track. We're doing great. It's gonna be fine. Spirits are high and not dwindling at all. We're doing good. Thanks for asking, doing good. On today's episode of Grumpy Girl TV, uh, someone got real grumpy yesterday. <laughs> so obviously the glue gun situation kind of threw me off and killed corporate morale a little bit, corporate being me. And then that combined with a critical part of the demon girl costume not showing up really, really harshened the vibe. So the photographer and I decided that without the wig for this costume, this winged demon beast woman I'm making, it kind of would kill the vibe. As fun as my hair is, it's not, it's not demon hair, right? I don't think it's demon hair. So I decided that I was giving up yesterday, <laughs> at least for the day. We're back, spirits are high and great news. This little baby just arrived, so I have some motivation to actually finish the costume, the wings, today. Today is the day. I know I said yesterday was the day, but today is actually the day. So what needs to happen today to finish these wings is I need to cut out the fabric that is going to be the, the flappy bits of the wings and of course paint. I think that's it. I am feeling motivated and I am feeling like I don't have a ton of time. That's been kind of the theme, right? So we're getting together, we're gonna do it. I'm really excited, let's go. All right, I am done with the wings and I am so happy with how they turned out. I'm exhausted and I cannot wait to show you the wings, but before I do, I wanna say thank you to my friend Kai, who has agreed to help me do a little photo shoot tomorrow morning. And I also wanted to uh, remind you two things that you shouldn't pick on me about is one, this is not a tutorial video. I know this is kind of like a janky way to make some cosplay wings, but I had a lot of fun and I'm proud of the end result if you want to make some wings look something up um, yeah. <laughs> yeah don't go to this video for advice I also wanted to say don't pick on me for uh, my costume because uh, it took me being really brave about body image stuff to wear this and I'm proud of myself and if you ever feel scared to wear something but you really want to because it's fun just do it and don't worry about it and just try your best to feel confident oh look somebody just delivered a dog toy to me Thank you, Django. Okay, let's uh, let's show you the costume. still watching thank you so much and an even bigger thank you to my patrons who support me and make 
all of this nonsense possible. If you're a fan of my content, consider checking out my Patreon. We have a Discord server where we have a lot of fun in there. We're friends and we have fun and we talk about art and stuff. Um, anyway, I hope that all of your broken bike racks someday becomes something better than a broken bike rack. Stay out of trouble, have a good day, make some stuff. Let's get down to business and make stew, bitch shit. Welcome to my life of trying to be a cool demon girl. I don't know, that part, I don't know. I should be more confident if I'm gonna be a cool demon girl. I should be way more confident. Put your little devil horns on, Raquel, you know? I don't know what I'm talking about. I never know what I'm talking about in life and in YouTube videos. Get out of here. Get on out of here. Get away from these clippers. They're dangerous and we want you to stay safe. <laughs> I'm going to prom. <laughs> Do you want where you're like grabbing one of your wings if you can? I can't really move my arm. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's a guy walking. Oh, my nuts.